Game time, Brian. I, is that is that, hey, Mark? Uh, Mark, is that the guy coming on? Hey, Mark, you can bring DFW and the Dallas Fort Worth area, and it won't matter. You haven't done dick in 30 years. The Pet Rock and the Chia Pet were more famous than Dallas in the last 25 years. Who are you kidding? The Chia Pet is more famous than the Cowboys in the last 30 years. The Chia Pet. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman. Yes, the mailman. Rise and grind. Don't feel like doing this video. Definitely don't. I really need to take some time off from YouTube right now. Especially with the tough times I got going on in my personal life with losing a, a brother. Fan, you know, he was like a brother to me growing up. I got a funeral to go to tomorrow. Not good, but that's no excuse. Uh, just like to give uh, full full clarity. Maybe my fuse wasn't as long as it should have been last night. Um, again, don't really want to do this video, but that's the kind of person I am. I'm going to stand on my uh, two feet, Drew, because I know I keep hearing that. I'm going to stand on my two feet and basically scream from the mountaintops. You know, I've asked you before, Drew. I really have. Uh, I've been nice. I give you my personal number, access, um, I'm not always right, believe me, I know, uh, I never said I was always right, Troy, uh, Troy Daniels was wrong in that stat, again, that wasn't the point, you know, I don't, again, it was a Monday Night Football Zoom that we were talking about Dallas's uh, win over Pittsburgh, there's really not much to be negative about, there really wasn't, there wasn't much to be negative about. Um, you know, I usually let you talk. Um, you know where I stand. I have a, a channel to run, uh, Drew. I do. And Philly Old Head, I don't care what you think, bro. I know what you think. Why? Because I live here. I know what you think. Not all Eagle fans are like you, Philly Old Head. I, have, I had a few of them reach out to me last night that were apologizing. Again, there's nothing to apologize for. Drew is entitled to his opinion. I would just appreciate when we're in a Zoom setting where I have people in the chat. I've brought this up before. Nobody said you changed the subject to go ultra negative. Well, I don't. Are they? You brought it up, Drew. Are they a good team or are they an average team? Okay. Okay. So, I mean, like, where's this going? You know, I've said I don't have them going to the Super Bowl. I don't even have them. You know. I had them winning 10 wins. We'll see if they can get there. Teams that I thought weren't going to be as good like Atlanta are very good. So we have them to have to contend with. Washington Commanders, you know, I didn't think they'd be this good. I didn't think Jane, I didn't think Jaden Daniels would be this good, as as most people. But I did have Dallas's record exactly where I have it. And for the record, I have Dallas winning, uh, losing this week. And I had them losing to the finer, uh, the 49ers. And as I sit here today, I don't think we're losing both. So we're going to be better than I thought we were in the short term. But we'll see. At this point, it's all speculation and guess and assumption because we got so many injuries. I don't know from week to week. I do know I feel strongly about Detroit coming off a of bye winning. But that, again, you got to know the room. I had nothing to do. You, I could care less if you make a comment. We'll have a little banter back and forth. But this, it just seemed like you were on a mission last night to deflate anybody, whether it was in the chat or in the Zoom, and keep turning it back to the Cowboys' shortcomings. And how we got on the Duran Bland was, listen, I'm sorry, Drew. I think you're, you're wrong. That doesn't mean, I understand what you're saying. I was the one at the draft that said I love Kenyon Mitchell. Just remember that. But as a player, as we sit here right today, he couldn't hold a Deron Bland shoes, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, I all I said was is that Deron Bland would be your best cornerback on your team now. 
And I made the stupid mistake by saying, oh yeah, trade. I understand how it works. You're not gonna trade. Ooh, wow. Woo. God's telling me something. God's telling me to calm down, Brian. Life's too short to get caught up in this bullshit and be fact-checked when I didn't you say nothing about stats. You were saying, what are the stats? I'm there to do a Zoom call for you guys, and it turned into a defending the, the Dallas Cowboys, which that's not what I want to do on the Zoom call. And Troy put in some false facts, and now, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, Deron Bland is a pro bowler. He's only played two seasons. He's got... A shit ton of, I mean, interceptions. 11, I think, but I don't know. Fact check me. I know he had six last year. I don't know how many he has, but he made the Pro Bowl in year two. Okay, he's very good. Yeah, he was He was hot and cold in year one as a rookie, as a fifth round pick. Okay. Nope. I know what you're saying. You you wouldn't trade Kenyon Mitchell for Deron Bland. Well, he's a rookie in his upside. It doesn't make too much sense to make the trade, but as we sit here today, Make no mistake, Deron Bland is a far better player than Kenyon Mitchell. You could agree or disagree. That would be like me saying, oh, no, Maji Smith's better than Jalen. Yeah, but Jalen, he's already proven it. But yeah, but, you know, I love Mozzie, so we're going to stick. Nah, take your fandom to the side. I believe, and you can fact check me on this. Rob, since you texted me last night, you fact check it. Okay? And I love you, Rob, but, you know, I don't hear from you, and then I'm getting fact checked. Text Troy. I don't... I didn't say it. I believe. But please fact check me and get back to me. If I'm wrong, I'll put it out there. Because I don't shy away from anything. I believe Deron Bland made the Pro Bowl last year. I believe he was voted somewhere in the 30s. I think he was somewhere in the 30s in the NFL Top 100. Now you can say, oh, well, that's an NFL Top 100. That's a... That's, I believe that's a vote of your peers, is it not? Again, let's just, let's keep it real, people. Keep the fan, you know, your fan. I know you hate the Cowboys, Drew. I know you hate the Cowboys. It's not a big deal. I live here. I'm, I know how to deal with it. But, like Philly 500, it doesn't matter. I've been to many a games where Dallas rolls you in Philly. And you know what the Eagle fans say? Oh, it don't matter. Dallas still sucks. I get it. It's a fan thing. You act like I don't get it. I do. But I'm not going to allow anybody to come in and just make false narratives like Deron Bland stinks. That's just laughable. Philly old head, again, that's laughable. But, again, I should not let this shit bother me. Like, there's more important things in life than to fight after a win for my football team. Okay. I've watched the Eagles win this year and lose this year. I'll make my opinions. I don't go on a, on a Dallas Cowboys Zoom call and stand on a soapbox and go and go and go and go and go. And you know what I'm going through personally. So it's building. It's building. I would have thought that you would have taken the high road, get your digs in and get out. But you couldn't. That's what's disappointing. So I don't know. You said you're going to take some time off. You got to do what you got to do. I've been threatened a couple times on YouTube. Mark warned me about YouTube, by the way. I said, oh, no, you know, I want to be more accessible. But I've been threatened multiple times about people leaving the channel. And then, listen, I do more than most when it comes to Zoom calls for my three hours a month that I get after YouTube takes their money. It's not worth it to me. I want anybody who wants to be there and be respectful. Not that you weren't respectful, Drew, but you got to know the room a little bit. I wouldn't come on your soapbox and just go, go, go. You know, and I had Eagle fans in the chat that I'm friends with. There's, I, I mean, I have local people. And they're like, dude, I don't know. But they are aware of that a type of fan as well. So, and I'm not down in you, Drew. You're allowed to be root for whoever. I'm a Phillies fan. I know how it is. I get very worked up, you know, with the Sixers, not so much the Flyers anymore, and the Phillies. I get it. I'm not coming at it at a mean spot, but you got to come from my perspective. I'm trying to have a, a healthy balance. Just because you don't yell doesn't mean you're not being rude. And I know you won't see it that way, but it's like a passive-aggressive thing, you know? Just because you're not yelling doesn't mean 
you know, I'm not losing subscribers because I get people text. I'm done. You know, Brad. Brad's texting me many times. Brad's trying to be nice, but when it's just constantly negative and negative and negative. Don't get me wrong. We're going to have plenty of opportunity for you to be negative towards the Dallas Cowboys coming up. We all know their schedule. Again, if you watch my videos, you know I wasn't standing on a soapbox saying I predicted them to win. I've been dead on on this team. Not necessarily game to game, but after six games, I had them a three and three. If Dallas wins against Detroit, then I don't know. I would be wrong in a good way. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to go into the bye three and three and play a struggling 49er team. And I actually think we have a shot. Whether we win or not, I don't know. But anybody sitting on a soapbox talking about the 49ers, how good they are, ain't watching football. We have a chance. It's a week-to-week -week league. You know, but I've streamed Eagle games, been very respectful, as I am, though. I, that's how I am. I'm a fan of football. I'm a fan of players. I'm a fan of good play. I gave you a lot of credit when you beat New Orleans. Now we're looking at it like I always hated the whole, oh, well, we beat New Orleans, but you lost to New Orleans, so we're better than you. It's not how it works in the NFL. It's just not. I wish it was as easy as that, but it's a week-to-week -week league. Ask Rob. He knows. He gambles a lot. He knows it's a lot of BS. It is. This NFL is a lot of BS. I would not... Rob, I... Just... Me, personally, that have been there, done that, and have gambled, and you know my story, Rob, about my brother, and lost a lot of money on NFL football. I have more success with college to be honest with you i used to i used to gamble basketball games and not turn the game on until there's less than a minute left because that's the only way that that's the only way to gamble on college basketball but you know it's at the end of the day it's not life and death people still love you drew i just wish you would kind of um i mean i don't know what you're thinking drew are you thinking because you're a channel member that's your right to come on and do it just because you can should you? You know? I mean, just because you can, should you? And I, I'm not saying leave, because I don't. I love I love the opposite opinion. I've had conversations with you regarding your opinion. I cherish having that banter, but it, get, it seems like the Zoom calls at times get over the top. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's my fault, and I apologize. I'm not here. I don't know everything, but I know a lot. <laughs> you know, uh, I think I'm fair. Um... Let's put it this way. I don't know of many channels that have grown as much as I have in a little over a year. I think by being all-inclusive and everybody getting together, that doesn't mean on Sunday. This is why I appreciate when Rob doesn't want to come on or Drew doesn't want to come on and why I don't want to stream live. Number one, I don't like being told what the plays are because that's how much I'm into the game. But number two, I want to be able to drink in the game, absorb the game, and then give it because... I get emotional. I'm, I'm a Philly guy. I do get emotional. So I do apologize for that. Uh, but if you couldn't see what was going on last night, you have to kind of like get out of yourself. It's not about winning an argument because I always defer. Uh, okay, you know, it's not worth it to me. I'm trying to keep people engaged. It's a fine line between if people be engaged and go, oh, Jesus, I'm not watching. Because that there literally are people, Drew, who as soon as you come on, they're gone. So you got to look at it from my perspective. I'd like you to come on, but there's a fine line. If you got to go 100 or nothing, then maybe this isn't the spot for you. And I would be okay with it. It's nothing wrong. But I think the channel has grown so much over a little over a year. Literally a, a year since April. Uh, a year, May, June, July, August, September. A year and five months. And uh, I think I just hit 40K. I'm doing something, right? Right? I don't know that they want a guy. And I try and be good. I don't usually try and recite stats because it takes time to do that shit. It takes time to do research and sit down. I am not that guy. But, you know, I have a lot up here. And I will have to refer to at times. But I don't know. I believe Bland was a top 35, 34. I don't know, somewhere in the 30s. As far as a top 100 player. That's all I was saying. I just could, you know, when I hear statements like that, you, what happened last night was you reminded me of 
what Philly 500 and Dan Cilia were saying to uh, Mark, and I was screaming at the TV like, Mark, just just spit the facts back at him. Not that that'll matter, especially on that platform, because Dan Cilio doesn't give a shit about facts. He wants to shit on everybody and anything, even the Eagles. I think I'm the guy who's praised... Jalen Hurts more than anybody had had his back lately when they want his head on a spit in Philadelphia. They do. And yet, what do I do? Do I sit there and troll the Eagle fans? Maybe that would make the channel grow more, but that's not the kind of person I am. I'm going to keep it real. I don't think it's all Jalen. Has Jalen led the league in interceptions over the last two years? Not one year. That's a big sample size. Two years, yes. But I also am the same guy who thinks... It wasn't Jalen Hurst that got you to the Super Bowl. And it wasn't Jalen Hurst that lost the Super Bowl. It wasn't Jalen Hurst's only problem this year and last year. That's just a fact. I know we get back and forth. Is it a team game? Obviously, it's a team game. Look what happened. We played our best defensive effort against a number one rushing football team in the NFL. And yet, we're going to find ways to be critical. Okay, okay. I just, didn't think, I, I just didn't think it was the right time to do that. You should have waited a few days because I think we could be ultra critical after the Detroit game. I can see it now. And again, I get way more views when Dallas loses, which is why ultimately I decided to go into YouTube because it's my re revenge on the Dallas Cowboys for not stepping up over the last 28 years. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to win. You're not going to go out and get a player to get, you know, to put me over the top. Well, I'm going, I'm going to profit off of it. So every time they lose, look at my views. I'll go from, I think I had 200 and, or whatever the hell it was, not a lot of views after the win the other night for my recap video. Yet if they lose, I get 2,000 views. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. Not that I'm making a lot, but you get the point. The point is, F the Cowboys. It ain't just about the Dallas Cowboys. It's about me, you know, being tired. So when we have a win, I don't need to have this negativity. We're going to... Listen, I did three shows since the game. Three. And I was hypercritical in all three. But at the end of the day, a win's a win. I didn't see Eagle fans complaining when you were off to a 10-1 and one start last year. I didn't. And I was sitting standing there from far. I didn't. I would have looked foolish if I would have said, yeah, but you look like shit. Yeah, but. Because you're winning. It's all about winning. More importantly, it's all about playing your best ball at the end of the season. Which is why I'm not writing off the Eagles as bad as they looked. Yes, they've looked good in games. But their defense is not good. There's no redeeming quality right now except New Orleans. And now we got to look at and see. I know Dallas got smoked by New Orleans. But Eagles go to New Orleans the following week. Now, there is some crazy stat. Maybe you stat people can look that up. People who play Dallas, their record following the Cowboys. I don't think it's very good. <laughs> I, I'm, and I, I don't have that number, but I thought I saw it somewhere where the record of teams after they play the Cowboys like goes in the tank. And I always said, well, maybe it's because... Maybe, just maybe, it's because everybody wants, hates the, you either hate, right? You either hate the Cowboys or love the Cowboys. So there's more people in the in United States or wherever that hate the Cowboys. That's just a fact. There's more teams to hate the Cowboys than any other team. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But, um, it, it, listen, at the end of the day, I'm you got to do what you got to do. I need a little bit more decorum. Uh, this, like, you need to go with the flow. I like that better than this. You know, I would never do that to, I would say I got 80%, I got maybe 70% Cowboy fans. I wouldn't do that. So I would hope that, you know, especially after we've had this conversation. If you want to put it in the comments, I get a kick out of that. And I tell Brad not to block anybody's comments because I don't like that and the Ultra Cowboys had an issue with that before but Ultra Cowboy can get a little nasty and I agree but he's, he's a passionate Cowboy fan sticking up for his team so uh, maybe I'm you know it is what it is I don't want to go any further into it I'm done with it uh, 
Again, no hard feelings. I hope everybody stays, but if you don't want to stay, again, I'm not doing this for the money. So you know, YouTube takes their big chunk. So that's why I that's why I just put up a merch website that I haven't had any orders yet. So, you know, I'm paying monthly for a website. Everybody wants me to send them stuff, but you know, again, I'm not made of money here. Uh, I'm, you know, but I'm gonna yeah, take care of the people that take care of me. So, and I will do that. So, um, but yes, so I don't know. I gotta do something with the channel member zooms and maybe a lessen the topic and maybe a little, uh, be a little more vigilant and you know, shutting down and that starts with myself not getting worked up but you know it is what it is we're all human and i know i'm not perfect so i apologize if anybody got offended with that being said i hope this is over something tells me it's not and it won't be and i'll get more negative comments whatever again i don't think you're gonna find a more level-headed person than me uh welcoming other opinions i just don't want slander i just don't want negative negative ne that wasn't the day to do that you want to wait till this week okay <laughs> i could see that makes more sense but all right everybody that's it for me rambling on i apologize if i offended anybody uh i did get upset i have a shorter fuse um it is what it is um apologize to anybody who was offended i'll talk to everybody later don't forget i'm going to try and do a lunchtime chat i should be able to live from the mail truck 2 33 o'clock we got the phillies coming on at 508 today or five five o'clock so i need to calm down to watch that mess all right late